Oh well, that's still fine. Everything is fine. Vodkinos. Eight months in the gang. Hey, thanks a lot. Appreciate those resubs, always. Welcome back. Hype train. Yo, guys. Hype train is level 2. Sub, gift or use bits to get to the next lever. <laughs> that's, that's what it says. I was gonna, uh, I actually have the Halo 3 Cursed video basically ready, but then I read that YouTube's policy has changed, where if your video has any swearing during the first 7 seconds you get demonetized. Any swearing during the first 7 seconds, and my, the video has like, three fucks during the first 3 seconds or something, so... I guess I don't know what to do with that. Wow, look at that. Wait, did did both Marines die or what? I don't know. Don't worry, Sergeant. We'll stay here until evac arrives. Oh that's so cool. I recommend that we stay near the beacon and wait for extraction. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was thinking like, do I don't have really have to add some intro? I mean, I'll just have to find. Maybe I'll find some way to add length to the video without taking away. I just thought. I just thought it it it, it would have been effective and funny if it, the video just went like straight to the to the meat, like instead of having some intro shit, you know. Guy's still alive. Now he's dead. A commentary? Okay, let's do it. Oh shit, this is gonna be a long run then. All the way to the end. So here, you can actually see that grunt? You can shoot through that little gap. Actually hit the grunts in the head. It's actually kinda consistent. Surprisingly consistent considering how much spre spread there is on the pistol. Not sure how that works. But anyway, you can see how all those guys are dead. Uh, so the idea here is to basically spawn kill the enemies with grenade lineups. So this is another one. Uh, I didn't find that one. Let's see if that works whatsoever. Holy shit, it worked! How come that this line, like, that wasn't like a proper lineup, but it's, uh, it was actually really good. Maybe it means that my proper lineup isn't actually even that good, but I could adjust it to be better or something. Anyway, so after those guys are dead, you can, you can just go up there to pick up all time grenades if you have any left because you're gonna have to wait for the car to come down a new rebirth and show again uh, no maybe some other time Cave is not a natural formation. Intro. Someone built it. 
intro should say this intro only exists to make sure it doesn't get demonetized. Anyway, there, there's nothing really to explain. Actually, here I do a little trick. I look at my left front wheel. Well, you couldn't really see it, but I try to hit the left front wheel like on that little ramp that comes out of the wall. Just so it hits it a tiny bit because then it's gonna bump up the nose so that oh, yeah. I don't get nose dive. I see one. Because that's so like the only here. thing that can really screw you over when you're... You know, you have that gap there, you're supposed to jump over the gap with the car. But if you land on the ramp, you know, the before the gap you have the ramp. If you land on the ramp, like, in an improper way, then it's gonna take all your speed away and then you can't make the gap anymore, so you wanna optimize that. There you could see I did a little launch against that wall. Because if you get out of the car and turn at the same time, then um, you get launched by the rear. And actually, like, you would think, you would think that way, but shouldn't you get splattered if you get hit by the car? But there's some sort of, like, invincibility period after you exit a vehicle or something where you can actually get pushed without getting killed. Something like that, I'm not, I don't know. But you, you can do that, you can get away with that boost. It's a very good tactic. In a couple of places. Here's a uh, very convenient grenade and sniper ammo. You can get and then just keep going. That snipe is very important to get. Maybe they took cover in that structure. Let's check it out. Yeah, there, there I did the launch again by, <laughs> you know, hitting me my, myself with the rear of the car. Shit. Okay, that's good. Of course, here yeah, the point is to kill all your allies because the game doesn't The level doesn't, uh, it, it doesn't matter if you actually successfully complete the objective, as long as you just complete the objective. So well, that's just one way to complete the objective, is to fail the objective. So you'll do the same thing for the next part. And there's a reason why you do these three areas, you, you know, you have three marine areas you wanna, you have to clear. So you do this in this specific order, because for the last, for the part that you leave as the last one, you're forced to clear the enemies, unlike the first two. So you wanna, the last part you wanna, uh, do the one that has the least en enemies, you know. That, that one was, that, that, that's the best way to clear that part, so. You make sure that the Covenant start killing the Marines, and then you snipe the three guys on top of the, the rock. And that's how you make sure everybody dies. And the important thing is that you make sure that you kill them in a way where they don't turn against you. Because that's never good. And you have to do some backup strat bullshit. That's never good. Okay, get that guy. But now you just get to shoot aliens. It's like, I think you have to kill like seven aliens. And then, uh... Gonna spawn the ship. The last, uh, dropship. Just like that. Then you can just spawn kill these guys pretty easily. Then you wait for the Pelican to come pick you up. Oh, it's bot mommy. Hey, hey, what up, mommy? Shoot. And thanks for that. 
next level is uh, good. I won't talk as much because it's so good that I actually have to focus on gameplay. There are a couple of cool things, but a lot of that and a lot of this this level is uh, just shooting aliens. It's pretty simple, really. Like a lot of it is just running and shooting aliens, and then you have like a couple of tricks. What? What's that a 